everyone. This is Jess. I hope you are all doing well. It's been a while. I know I'm a slacker, but I am here to work with you all and show you the new awesome uh, gel uh, studio collection. Hold on one second. Let me just see if I can get this working. I just don't want it to be noisy. All right. So this is the new studio collection. These are... Um, there we go, now I can see what I'm doing. Uh, these are the full size and available for a limited time, it comes in the minis. So the Studio Collection is um, a selection of three gel polishes that are available uh, typically mid-season. So we have Jelly Black, Jelly Red, and Jelly Teal. And again, they're available in the mini set. This runs for about 29 and this is about $50 for all three of the full size. So I'm gonna get right to it and I'm just gonna quickly swatch these um, so that you can see what they look like with one coat and two coats. And then I'm gonna go into some nail art tricks with these so that you have an idea of what to do with them. So they are translucent. So you can see that they are relatively sheer. You can float them on nicely and it creates a nice ghost effect. Uh, that's one that I was practicing with. Okay, and I'll go ahead to the red. The red is kind of like a wine red, one coat, and it's almost a little pinky, but two coats, and you definitely get more of that wine red, which is really nice for a couple of tricks that I'm going to show you. So nice translucent jelly white, uh, jelly red, and teal. Color of the year, I feel like, has been teal. So here is the teal. Really pretty color. Do like this one quite a bit. That's pretty. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. Switch back out the black and um, show you what the second coat looks like. Now what you can do with this is instead of coating the entire thing, you can coat half of it and that way you just know for yourself how dark the difference is between one and two coats. So if you're like, okay, do you want really sheer or do you want a little bit more coverage? You can kind of polish your swatch half and half so that you can see that difference. Works really nicely for any of your translucent gel polishes as well if you don't already do that. And that way you can have the different colors on the different ways. So again, one coat versus two. You can see a lot deeper on the second coat. There's a lot of different um, fun practice sets like the, I have an Ugly Duckling one that's all crystal and there's some from Clear Jelly Stamper with the practice tips and stuff and they're great. Um, but I need to be able to put these in the light while I'm grabbing the other ones. So, oh, so if you do that and you go too far on your swatch, just grab a clean brush. Make sure I don't grab one with glitter on it and just swipe it down to clean up your line a little bit. So if you make a mess and you want to keep it like that, so you can see the one coat versus two, just clean it up by swiping straight down before you cure it. No problem. All right, so now we're going to get busy with some fun different ideas. So one of the things I like to do is layer. Um, and obviously when you're doing these jellies, that's really what they're meant for, for the most part, is to do awesome layering. Courtney from Ohio, hello. I'm in Seattle where, you know, everyone thinks it rains 100% of the time, but it's beautiful and blue and sunny outside right now. Our fall is spectacular, so hello. All right, so I'm going to layer this on Option Satin Pearl, and a lot of people don't really know much of our Options line. Um, it's actually our original gel polish line that we came out with long before there were any gels in the bottles, um, and it's still around. I have some clients who actually do better with these gels in the pot, um, I think primarily because it's quite a bit more flexible, so you get some more strength out of it. So a couple of my clients will specifically choose only Options for their color choices um, because they just get a better wear with them. Um, that being said, I wanna say it's probably two out of 
a gazillion. Um, so you want to make sure with these, and it says it right on the bot, but let me tell you how many people say, I don't know why my color doesn't look right. And I say, did you stir? And they're like, oh no, did I need to do that? Stir before use. So it's gonna look like your pigment and your color is separated and that's perfectly normal. The pigment in this tends to seep to the bottom. It's got a different chemistry than Luxio. Luxio has a bunch of stabilizers in it um, and you are very rarely gonna find anything that has a pearl because it does separate. So if you want a pearl effect, you need to reach out to the Luxio or to the options line. So this is Satin Pearl, which is a great color for brides. Um, if you want a white that blends really easily, it works really well. But I wanted to see how it looks layered underneath one of these new jellies. Hi, Michelle from Ontario. All right, so I've already buffed these and I typically use this um, 120-100 grit buffer because it just gets it real quick, gets it nice and smooth. Um, rule of thumb, gel sticks to a tacky layer, or it sticks to a buffed layer. So if you're just going straight on to a shiny tip, you risk it peeling off later or chipping off and you don't want that, so. All right, so I'm just going to brush on my options here. And this is kind of a big tip. I found these and I thought it'd be great for nail art just because it's a little bit bigger than a typical tip. So like a little bit bigger, you guys can see it a little better. It is very curvy though, so it's gonna make um, foiling a little bit tricky because most clients do not have this curved of a nail and it's already tricky doing foils so that's gonna be a challenge for me all right so i'm gonna go ahead and take these other three out and put this one in so if you want to save these long term and you want them to stay in good condition you can use ultra gloss you can use luxio gloss or you can even use trinity so whichever you want to use these are your standard or, I mean, you can even use uh, Shine On, which I think I have one right here. Oh, no. I think I have this one. Yeah. I've been using um, Trinity, actually, quite a lot lately because I have found that, surprisingly, it is masterful at keeping your foils from separating. So I do so many foils that I have just been grabbing this as my top coat and you just brush it on i mean it's not difficult it's a nice thin viscosity just like your ultra gloss might be but um because it's non-porous it's less likely to stain than one of your porous gels and because it's got the strength built in it really holds up well against your uh there's a little lint in there Sorry, was I out of frame? My apologies. Um, it really holds up well to wear and tear. So I had a bartender who I did a full coverage foil on her tips, kind of like a French tip. It was really cute. Within a week, she was just a disaster. Um, bits peeling up all over the place. Uh-oh. I did not mean to flip that upside down. Um, bits peeling up all over the place. And... I was like, all right, let's try it with Trinity as your top coat. And she came back two weeks later and they were perfect. So that is my new trick for that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take the satin pearl. And I'm going to use the black because a lot of people love that kind of smoky black look. But you don't have, there's no like smoky black pearl, right? So by layering these two together, you get this really cool, unique pearly gray, which I had someone text me today actually asking for this specific color, and I'm going to tag her in this video and let her know it was an OPI color, and uh, it's gray. Ignore the chimes. It's a gray OPI color, and it looks quite a bit like this, so there you go, and if you want it a shade darker, we can do a shade darker, so that is layering. Does Trinity stain as a top coat? Um, you know, I haven't tried it on my hairdressers, but my hairdresser comes in next week and I will put it on her. She does wear white a lot and so I usually use Ultra Gloss. I can't imagine it would stain because it is a non-porous. So my guess is it's gonna work the same as Ultra Gloss, but I will test it and let you know. But I'm pretty sure it should be the same as Ultra Gloss being a non-porous. All right, I'm gonna take these out real quick. 
Trinity does have a tacky layer, but listen, it still has that squeak that y'all know I love, which means it is good and shiny. So here's our glass gels we're working with. We'll just keep those right there. Now we'll go to another technique. So with this one, I'm going to go ahead and everything's looking a little bit darker on camera, just so you know. Let's see if I move that light, if it brightens up a little bit. I've just noticed it is a little bit darker. So everything is actually a little bit more translucent and brighter than it kind of looks on camera, but my goodness, it's definitely darker. All right, so I'm gonna grab my black on and we're going to do a good coat of black on. Now you do have to be a little bit careful with black on to make sure you don't overdo it um, and that it cures. So what I'll typically do is do kind of a thin coat and then just float just a little bit more over the top to make sure it's nice and smooth and even. Just like that. So it's nice and black. You have to kind of put something behind it because you put nothing behind it and it's the translucency of the tip, but that looks good and solid. So black on is um, black with shine on built in. So when you go to do a chrome, you don't have to do black and then chrome. You can just go straight to black on. We also have a white version. So here is that pearly gray and that's using um, your satin pearl and your jelly black. So that gives you this beautiful pearly gray color, which I know is gonna be really popular. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that there. And I'm gonna get this silver chrome ready. This is available on the profiles, or on the uh, Love Nails store. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. And do, 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 do. You know what, I'm running out of time. I do have a client coming in a minute. So instead of doing this in front of you guys, because I wanna show you one more technique before my client gets here quickly because I'm running out of time. So this is um, one that I just did before this, and this is using silver chrome with the jelly red. You can do this with the red, the gray, the teal. They're gonna give you this really pretty jelly, super shiny, shiny, shiny nail going on. So there's that. Okay, so I wanna quickly move over into doing a, um, let me just grab a color. What do I have? I have Nightfall. Okay, I'm gonna grab this. So this is uh, cashmere, which is one of my favorite um, kind of taupey colors, really popular this time of year as well. Um, I literally have like three minutes. So I'm gonna try to rush through with you guys. And if I'm able to do any more videos um, or have suggestions for clients that take it and I can video more, uh, more playing with this these jelly colors I will let you know so that's cashmere really pretty color I'm gonna go ahead on this so I did this with black on but I'm gonna go ahead and use this for my stamping one I wanted to show you guys how you can use this with stamping so grabbing a plate I'm going to do a couple different things so first I want to do a background of let's see Maybe this. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Okay, I'm gonna do this one. Where did all my stamping stuff go? I had it out and then it moved. And then pick it up. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead to this one. You can just place it anywhere. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take this red. And this is like a holographic, uh, or holographic uh, number four, which is really pretty. It's got a cool holographic to it. 
And this is where I want to line it up. So this is where you look through your stamper and get it as close as you can. Mm, I was twisted a little bit. Okay. And then when that dries, so you can layer as much as you want. You can do as much as you want. But I'm going to go ahead and grab my jelly. And that's going to tone everything into a single color. So a lot of people have seen how to do the roses. Um, just painting those on with white and then they'll use the jelly over the top. This is another way to do it without actually having to have like the painting skills. Do some layer stamping and then you can polish over the top of all of it and you get a really cool multi-dimensional look. All right, here's that. So here's that cashmere and I'm gonna do a quick uh, stick it, quick stick it over the top of this so my foil will stick. And I'll put that in the light. So this one, oh, what could I do with this? So many things, so many things. Let me show you what else you can do. So if you take your pewter quartz, while we're waiting for these to cure, if you take your pewter quartz, and you brush it on, let's say you do partial, because I want to keep the color of the satin pearl on there, I don't want that completely gone. But say you do this and you think, oh, the pewter quartz is not quite the same tone. Well, guess what? I'm gonna do another coat of the black jelly right over the top of this. So this is pewter quartz glitz. Uh, the glitz are all of the foil gels. They're really, really fun. So I love them. And I'm going to take this. Uh, there's the red stamping one. But I'm going to take this cashmere out. And I'm just going to quickly wipe this. And I'm going to take a... just want to give it a second for it to dry. love these silver translucent foil sets. I have a couple of them on my website and they're so pretty because you can put them on any color and it'll let you still see the color of what you're doing. I might not have let that dry all the way, but I'm trying to be done for my poor client. There we go. See how pretty, but then you can take one of your jellies. So say you want to take the taupe. That's my poor client I have to go with in a second. Here's the taupe. And now you have this really pretty foil design with this turquoise in the background. Isn't that pretty? Gives you a completely different look. You don't have to have a million different foils. You can use all of the silver ones and create this look by how you layer it. So there's that. Did I budge? I did not, I'm okay. All right, and the last one before I clean up, I'm just going to show you, if you want to layer your black over any of, over this glitz, it will tone it a little bit differently. So you can also use um, silver and gold from the Luxio collection and layer those as well. And you get you still get the beautiful shine through it, but you can change the tone of it to your jelly colors. So I hope that helps you guys um, see what some of the things you can do with this new jelly collection. Again, you can get the minis for a limited time. Once they're sold out, they're sold out. We can't have them anymore. Um, but we will have the jellies available for you all the time. Thanks for joining me, you guys, and we will catch you next time. Bye.